I oh jeez, <laughs> I just realized something. That. I'm not on Xbox. Did I say Xbox? I might have. I'm being a dummy if I did. Uh, no, but uh, it, no, I'm playing this on my Wii. But anyway, it's uh. uh I just noticed that uh, what Avatar also censored, I think as a joke in a previous stream, somewhere along the lines, I think I censored Moosh. I don't think you could say Moosh in my channel. <laughs> I, I, I don't remember, but I think that it was a, a, a little joke uh, in the channel, and that's 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 why when Avatar was... <laughs> yeah. I just realized... <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> now let's say Wusha on my channel. <laughs> oh shit. What the hell am I doing wrong? Never changed that. <laughs> Okay, I promise I'll never change it. <laughs> That's priceless. Is this a research scan too? No, of course not. Is there a secret here? Uh... Well, clearly there's something here, but do, do I do that yet? It doesn't look like it. Yeah. I'll look at it later. The cries of this dying land pulled us from our dreaming state, and now we chose a walk as ghosts, while the great poison sinks into the trees and waters, devouring our life. Some creatures survive, but their forms grow as twisted and evil as the forest that fell from the sky. The heart of the planet will succumb soon, and so will we. Even in our ghostly states, already many chosen have faded and passed into the unknown. The great poison is unlike anything we have glimpsed in this or any dimension. It eats relentlessly, worming out life wherever it blooms and corrupting what it cannot kill. It will be our undoing. Our last hope lies in the cradle, the temple we hope might contain in this abomination. It is almost complete, hovering over the impact site, the dark heart of the spreading evil. If we can finish before the last of our kind trips in the madness or death, there is a chance for this world. If we fail, we are doomed with it. Now is that where I just... this is where I just came from, I'm sure of it. I'm almost there, boy. Chosen scripture has like the hatchling walks among us. Are these dreams, memories, foretellings? Time and re reality swirl together like history waters, and we chose know not what to believe. She appears as ghost like as the chosen, but at times the mists clear. We see her wounded eyes and remember that uh, the child we found so long ago. What has she become, this newborn, clad in Chozo armor, wielding weapons our hands once held? 
Does she dream of the Chozo as we once were? Does she long for her parents lost to the same creatures that even now defile our sacred home? Does she still live? That really needed a timer? Like, did, is that what this game considers a timer puzzle? Aberration, Chozo Ghosts, Spectral Entity, Bioelectrical Field invulnerable to natural energies. As these entities phase in and out of existence, the only way to track them accurately is with X-ray scanning. X-ray is some good day. Uh, it can track things that phase out of existence. I didn't know X-ray was actually that capable. <laughs> this Partially phased nature makes them invulnerable to natural energy types, such as fire, ice, and electricity. Their aggressive and erratic behavior is most likely due to the corruption effects of the phase on in the Talon Core environment. They appear to be drawn to Chozo religious sites, where they wreak havoc upon anything that dares enter the area. Samus Bowling. The trolls are really, uh, really were bored to invent statues that bowl Samus. I still thought I uh, got rid of the swearing on the channel. I just, instead of getting rid of swearing, I just had Mooshes to swear. What the hell am I doing? They should have made the lore. You're really fucking annoying. <laughs> More and more, our tormented minds turn to the newborn, 
as the world continues to shift into brutal, disconnected images. She remains inarguably real, a fearless figure delving deeper into this blood world, unmindful of the terrors that await her. Was she this way before, when we chose our founder, a fledgling orphan on a salvage planet? Did, it, did a warrior's pulse already beat in her veins, filling her with righteous fury? I hope our hopes lie with her. We leave these messages for her, that she may find our artifacts and deliver the world from its evils. Wraiths we may be, but our reach is still long and deep. We shall fight the invaders and the poison they master until the end. I seriously, no, I gave up ever since there was a Mitri Pinball. <laughs> ever since a Mitri Pinball. Uh, there is a Mitri Pinball, I think. Sonic Pinball was bad enough. Why is it when uh, uh, video games have characters that can turn into spheres of some form that we have to make a pinball game out of them? Why is Samus and Sonic turned into pinball games? Why? Just to make extra money? What is wrong with our culture? What the hell were we thinking? How ridiculous is Sonic Bowling and Samus Bowling? It is completely ridiculous. I don't think Samus... Oh, not Bowling, but uh, Pinball. I don't think Samus wants to be part of a pinball game. <laughs> I think Samus would have better things to do. Makes me realize how come there isn't Samus Bowling. I guess, well, uh, it's included in this game. Now we officially got Samus Bowl. Samus Bowl included in Mitron Prime 2002 for the GameCube. Do not miss this game or Samus Bowl. I miss you last time. Stone Toad preys on creatures smaller than himself, vulnerable only from within. <laughs> yeah. A stone toad is able to remain still for days. It preys upon creatures smaller than itself, inhaling them whole. Anything it finds indigestible, it regurgitates. Stone toads use their tusks as a last resort in combat. Drainage shut off is holding a mate, maintaining the water level of reflect pool at 95%. CC Pimba? That sounds like something Avatar would do. So it's too bad you missed the Ninja Gaiden stream, Wish, because I was there saying. Uh, there was these annoying enemies, the ghost fish. I should really show you those enemies because it would be a funny. Uh, they would be a funny enemy to script. <laughs> I don't know if you ever seen the ghost fish of. Uh, it, it'd be a great type of co enemy, but anyway, it actually did not need to be scripted. Well, where do you think I got the inspiration for those fucking doom creatures? What the fuck was going on in my head when I uh, created that? I was so disappointed in this weapon when I first got it because the ice beam was one of my favorite things in uh, in Super Mitride. But then when you get the ice beam in this game, it's so slow. It's like what the hell? But I think uh, I think uh, they're what they were actually doing. They were keeping up with the tradition of Mitride One rather than Super Mitride, where you choose between the items. 
I think that was the aim they were going for. Now, which direction am I going here? And I warmed up to the ice beam. I, I, it, it has this sense of uh, town overworld south, granted. Is this where I want to be? I'll make it where I want to be. <laughs> I will I will alter the game to make this where I want it to be.